Hello, welcome back to the heavily modded 4G. That is like a forge. 4G. Uh, Minecraft play. We seem to have some ants up on the hill, as well as an elephant. And something orange, maybe a fox. I should get one of those mods that allows you to zoom. There's the village down there. Now, let's see what I have in my inventory. Hmm. Not nearly enough to feel safe wandering into a... Uh, what do you call it? Dungeon? Roguelike? Not nearly at all. Right. Is it the same memo as before? I did think of a thing, uh, since last time we played, that I could have gone... Yeah, same one. I could have gone, um, and got all my stuff when I died, uh, because I do have a gravestone. But, um, I've traveled a bit since then, and I'm not sure I want to go back there. Uh, I do need to, uh, start working on... Bed is actually a pretty high priority before I do anything really dangerous, because I'd really rather not start back at the uh, the main world spawn. Doesn't look like I have a bed. I sometimes sort of forget where I've been. <laughs> it's been a couple days since I, I played last round. So yeah, I think my uh, my goal is going to be making a bed, and then going to at least the first couple layers of the uh, the roguelike dungeon. I didn't actually set up a bed in here, did I? That doesn't look right, buddy. Are you okay? A little bit of teleporter malfunction. It's the other village I had a bed in, right? Oh, and it's getting dim. All right. Um, I guess I will. can I do? I'll wait till these guys go in, block them in, and then hide by myself. That just bugs me. Um, in some hidey hole until dawn. Eating carrots. Go inside. I'm probably not going to be able to save you all this time because I'm in a very scary terrain. Bad things will come out here. In fact, do we have one of those, uh... There we go. Gonna run away. Alright. There. A decent chance that a bunch of you will survive this way. Hey, you didn't shut your door, buddy. I'll hang out in this one. And... Just because things are pretty gnarly in this neck of the woods... Oh, there's already one. I'm going to... Pause really long while trying to remember what I was saying before finishing my sentences. How's that sound? Got everything cooked we need. Got torches. I think what I'm gonna do is make some ladders. They're useful things, ladders. I failed at that. Six. We 
get me to the roof. So because I suspect there will be interesting things to watch out there. Three, four, five, excellent. Still got these long pauses going, sorry about that. I'm gonna make a trap door. That's not a trap door. I don't have enough. Zombies coming. Uh, what am I looking for? I need at least one more piece of wood. Alright. Trap doors are this way, right? Yes. Okay. Now. giving me troubles. Alright. Clearly that's not working quite as intended. There we go. what sort of things come and attack the village, but I want to be able to run away and hide. What is that? Straight at my reticle. It looks like a werewolf. Really need to get uh, is it Optifine so I can zoom and climb up this tree. Hi. It's not a very pretty wood, but maybe I'll cut some up. Deadwood. That's fairly predictable. Um, yeah, if memory serves, being in dead swamps and similar areas, um, there are some bad undeady things that come out at night. But I haven't seen any. Why is that guy out? What? I didn't leave any, uh... Maybe he was outside when I started blocking doors and I didn't leave him a place to stay. <laughs> Please let me in! Well, it just doesn't look good for him. Sorry to say. Hey, dummies! Have a cookie. Guy. Oh. We're kind of ignoring him. Maybe I should let him into my place. Oh, wait, my door is open. scary looking. Hi, scary looking thing. Hi. I'm kind of thinking of attacking him, but I don't want to do it if you're right up near the door. Afraid I'll hit you, buddy. What are you trading? Wheat for an emerald. Not 
particularly interested, sorry, but... Gotta go hunting for sheep so I can sleep. I suppose any of you guys will sell me a bed. Oh, a zombie and a death knight. I'm not sure if that's what it's called, but that's what I've called it just now. Nothing flying yet. Oh, I've seen some monstrosities flying around in this this mod, these mods. Can I call it a mod pack if I just sort of assembled some on my own without whoop, without really bundling them as a thing? I think I will, just because it's easier to say mod pack. Because honestly, there's stuff I don't know which mod it came from. Alright, I'll go back inside. Hey, buddy. When it's dawn, don't jump right out. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. vicious as I thought. And I'm gonna drop some uh, dirt in the way so you don't go out until I'm ready for you to go. Well, that was a less eventful night than I was expecting. It's okay. I did play it a bit cowardly because I have no bed rather far from spawn. I don't even know anymore what direction that's in. But all these zombies! Will you start burning? Oh, look. Right there. That's one of the spooky things I was expecting to see. wonder if I can get close enough to attract his attention. Hey, buddy. Oh, oh no, you're on fire. Sound. Hi. I'm not going to let them out just yet. This would be a fine place to set up a base, but I need a bed. And this is not really bed, or, I'm sorry, sheep terrain. Hey, buzz off. Who's shooting? Oh, hey. to the top of the dungeon. Take a look around and see if there's any area that looks like it's going to have sheep in it. I suppose there's even possibly some in the dungeon. Or some wool or beds or even like bucket loads of cobwebs that could be turned into wool. What is that? Oh, that's the ant. What do ants drop, I wonder? Probably wood, huh? And it's a mole. That's cute. Mole. Mole is digging. Adorable. This is lovely terrain. You mating. This does not look like the place for an elephant, though. Mm -hmm. Come on, 
give me sheep, give me sheep. I guess I'm kind of leaving the, uh, leaving the village behind. I honestly won't have to go very far before I'll... Hey, Foxy! Hi! Hi! Is that what the fox says? <laughs> it's a reference a year out of date. I never would have thought a fox would go cheap, cheap, cheap. Pretty sure that's not a sound they make. Though they apparently can be quite noisy. Especially when sung about by Norwegians. Sheep, sheep, sheep. Oop. Yeah, until I have a bed, I'm going to play pretty cowardly. What is that? Don't think I'm going to grow any spotted clover. I like clover. I don't know if it's good for anything. But it looks kind of neat. Probably a little early to be start collecting decorative blocks. It's a neat looking island. No sheep. Lava pool setting things on fire. No sheep. Still got some allergies going. I'm trying to avoid snuffling and coughing and sneezing into the microphone. May not be 100% successful. May or may not... Oh, jeez, I missed... What's that? It's a wild uh, radish? What is that? Where did it even go? I'm gonna guess radish. Wild carrots. Cool. I don't know what the difference between wild and uh, regular carrots are. Wild and domesticated, I should say. I've eaten wild carrots before. They're... woody, I guess. Very pretty flower. A lot like Queen Anne's lace. As a chicken! You're not a sheep. Whoops. Frozen? Frozen? Crashing? Hmm. This is not good. I don't know if it's still recording or not. Wah! Oh, I've got one of those... There we go. Well, that was very strange and irritating. And fortunately not in a dangerous place. Hi! What's making so much lag right here? Is it chickens? Clover, clover, crimson and clover. Hey, look at all this grassy area. That should be sheep. That looks like a regular plains over there. I'm sure it's some sort of special funky plains, but... Also, as soon as I get my diamond, I'm making a, a portal to the twilight forest. Hmm. A little peek underground there. It's dark before I... Whoa. If it gets dark before I find a place to s hang my hat... Ooh. Careful, cow. Snakes will bite cows. Have you never heard of a milk snake? Which is a real thing, by the way. I think I will kill this cow. I will collect some raw meat. Uh, it... We don't need rotten flesh. Ooh. Oof. Oh, jeez, you see it rear up? That might be a cobra of some sort. Don't want to play with it. Am I collecting clay? I am. 
Moo. Tell me where your sheep friends are. Oh. Hmm. These roots are neat. What's that? I bet it's some kind of moss. Miner's delight. What do you suppose that is? Let's see. Come on, let there be sheep. Sheep, sheep, sheep. Sheepity sheep. Places crawling with them when you don't give a crap. Lots of holes in the ground to be wary of. Pass through cave. Chickens walking. How am I for coal? A lot of chickens. Yeah, something about the, the hissing snake, even when it's not after me, just gives me the willies. Might have something to do with the gila monster that kicked my butt on the last life. Are these chickens I hear? They in the cave? Oh, maybe these are they over here. Hello, chickens. Clover. Buck, 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 buck. Ooh, what is? That's a big piebald bunny. Hi, big piebald bunny. Um. And he's on my head. Uh, as far as I know, the head bunnies do nothing. Except suffocate when you forget about them and walk into short places. Oh, more bunnies. Hello, bunnies. Want some clover? I bet you eat clover. Ooh, that looks exciting up there, doesn't it? Ooh. A very dramatic, cliffy, islandy thing, and another dungeon. Well, I guess we could at least go see what the dungeon has in its, uh... its groovy chest. Uh-oh. I'm not able to interact with things. Is this because of the bunny? It is. Well, that's inconvenient to have a bunny on your head and you can't do anything. Well, seeing no sheep, I'd better go find a, a safe place to spend the night. And strangely enough, that safe place is going to be at the top of that roguelike dungeon. Probably inside the top, in case there are more flying monstrosities. It's just an interesting place. Man, if I had a bed. Looks like there's some deserty area. Definitely some sand. Not sure I want to go into one of these places at night. I don't think they're, like, more active at night or anything, but... One, one, one may worry about such things. These don't turn into planks. Okay. I just want to get in. Okay. Nothing too scary on the main floor, or the ground floor. Let's go up. Let's see if we can actually get up to the treasure floor, we can. Okay, what do we got? We got the same memo. We've got pantaloons of archery, pantaloons of warding, fire protection, pantaloons of archery. We've got, I don't know, more fish. 
More torches. More sticks. More bread. So usefulish stuff, just not. Oh, who's here? Uh oh, what the hell? Oh, that's probably is that my bunny? That's my bunny. <laughs> Scared the shit out of me, piebald. You scared the shit out of me, buddy. I didn't mean to make it difficult for you. I'll uh, feed you carrot. You want a carrot? Would you rather have a domestic or a wild carrot? How cute. <laughs> I I honestly I have no idea if there's any use to having a bunny pet. Aside from cute. Let's see how long we can keep Piebald alive. Well, you know what? I think there's a really good chance this has been long enough to be a full episode. I've been going way over time the last few time the last few recordings. Come on, Pybold. Come up here, and then I'll block the, the floor so you don't get lost. Come on, buddy. Come on, bunny. <laughs> All right, well. As long as you're safe, I don't think anything's going to attack you specifically. Okay. My dear, dear friends. This is me signing off. That's not Pybold. That's a chicken. Who just pooped an egg at me. I don't have enough cobblestone to make a new... Uh, ...furnace to start cooking my stuff. I should probably not be... ...sacrificing the security of my, uh... ...redoubt... ...quite so easily. I have no wood. Hi, buddy. Bunny. Hi. I'm going to block off your exit. I'm going to try to block off your exit. Alright, a bunny and a chicken. What is this, Easter? Eh, <laughs> Okay, well, we'll just leave it here. Good night, friends.